Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So, till now we learned how to calculate HCF that is highest common factor of two or more numbers. Now we will learn about a new term that is least common multiple that is LCM. So it is again uh, a concept which is not definitely similar to HCF but it is a different concept again. So here we will deal with the multiples. So here we will first find out common multiples between two or more numbers and then we will try to find out the minimum value of amongst those common multiples. So what exactly is least common multiple? Lowest of the common multiples of two or more numbers. Now. Let, let us take an example to understand this better. So let's say you have two numbers 8 and 12. So if you start looking at the multiples of 8, they would be 8, 16, 24, 8, 1 is 8, 8 is 16, 8 is 24, 8, 4 is 32, 8, 5 is 40 and so on. Similarly, when you look at the multiples of 12, they would be something like 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. So here you would see some common multiples and which is the lowest value of the common multiples that is 24. So least common multiple will become 24. Now the question is what is the significance of this LCM? So if you look at it carefully you would see that this is the smallest number that both the numbers are factors of. So basically 24 is the smallest number of which 8 is also a factor and 12 is also a factor. So 8 is a factor of 24, 12 is also a fact, 20, factor of 24 and 24 is the minimum number for which both 8 and 12 are factors of. Now you might be curious to know where exactly do we use this LCM, where do we need this LCM in our day to day life. So let me give you an example here. So, however, we will talk about more examples when we talk about the applications of HCM and LCM. So, here I will give you a small example. So, let us suppose that there are two kids, A and B. So, this is A and this is B. Now, let's say that both of them start walking from this point, from the same point and let, let's call this point as say X and they have to reach some point say y so this is some place y and this is some place x from where they started walking now let's say that a takes travels it covers eight centimeter in one step so that that's like the length of his step he could cover eight centimeter in a step and let's say b covers 12 centimeters in a step. So A covers 8 cm in one step and B covers 12 cm in one step. Now if I ask you that what is the minimum distance at which they both will meet because steps, step size is smaller for A than that of B. So definitely since steps are bigger for B, so B will be kind of ahead of A. Now, th this might also happen that the number of steps, now only the step size doesn't matter, number of steps also matter. So let's say that if A takes 10 steps, so basically it covered 8 into 10 centimeters. If B takes 5 steps, then it covered 12 into 5 centimeters, that is 60 centimeters, which is lesser than that of A. So only the step size doesn't matter. What also matters is the number of steps that each of them take. Now if I ask you what is the minimum distance at which both of them will meet. So now if there is a possibility that both will meet at some distance that definitely means that the number of steps are different for the two of them. Because one person is taking only 8 cm per step. The other person is taking 12 cm per step but still both are able to meet at a point. So let us say that if we assume that they, the minimum distance where they both meet is this point y. So basically this is the minimum distance at which they meet. So we have to find out the value of this minimum distance. So that means this distance has to be a multiple of 12 because this person so one step is like 12. So how many steps he would take? So how many times 
12 centimeters will he cover so that would basically be determined by a multiple of 12 so it could either be 12 into 3 12 into 4 12 into 5 depending on how many steps it has taken so th this this number basically has to be a multiple of 12 similarly this number also needs to be a multiple of 8 that is how many times 8 centimeters have been covered so what does that mean that means this distance, this minimum distance has to be a common multiple of 8 and 12, correct? Now since we are asking what is the minimum distance at which they would meet, that means this common multiple has to be the minimum common multiple or least common multiple. So if you find out the LCM of 8 and 12 which comes out to be 24 as we calculated just now. So we can very clearly say that at a distance of 24 centimeters both of them would meet. So see this is the practical application of LCM. So in these kind of scenarios by using LCM we can very easily find out what is the minimum value of the common multiple of two or more numbers. So this is why we are studying about LCM. Now it is very important to know that why are you studying LCM? Why are you studying HCM? So how are they related to your day-to-day -day life? So this is how it is related. So let us now again focus on finding out LCM. How can we easily find out LCM? Let us start, uh, let us take another example. So let us take uh, a pair of numbers say 15 and 20. So if I ask you to find out LCM of 15 and 20. So for 15 the multiples would be something like 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90 and so on. Similarly for 20 the multiples would be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and so on. So here what are the common multiple? So the first common multiple that you encounter is 60. So which is present in both of them. And this is definitely going to be the least common multiple. So you might encounter more common multiples later. But their values would be more than 60. So the least common multiple of 15 and 20 would be 60. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.